First day of Christmas was when you came to me in a dream. I knew you were my twin flame, but because you came to me in a dream, I didn't think you incarnated with me. All you did was smile and it told me everything I needed to know. You never spoke a word in this dream. You didn't need to. I've seen your face thousands of times in thousands of lifetimes. The second day of Christmas happened when Todd Medina was in Florida and wanted to do a beach meetup between Soul G and, and 5D. And I said, hell yeah. I went to his Facebook page and looked at his friends list to make sure I had friended any of his friends that had sent me a request. As I was scrolling, there you were. That was the face I had seen in my dreams. And it took my breath away when I saw you. I've seen those eyes thousands of times and the photo you used was the face I saw in my dreams smiling back at me. And this is where it got weird. Yeah, you stalked me in my dreams, but now it's my turn to stalk you. First of all, that's not my style. I'm an introvert and in every previous relationship that I've had, the woman made the first move. So how do I get the attention of my twin flame when she doesn't know who I am in this incarnation? And by the way, you had not sent me a friend request. I had just gone through his friends and there you were. You had no idea what N5D was or who I am at that time. So on the third day of Christmas, that was me getting the nerve to meet you. <laughs> I found you on YouTube and Facebook and I subscribed to your YouTube channel and sent you a friend request on Facebook. Now what? <laughs> I made a silly comment on one of your tarot videos, hoping you'd respond, but I got nothing but silence. <laughs> Whenever you went live, I'd join in and watch, occasionally making a comment in the chat. Once again, hoping to get your attention. Finally, I, I booked a reading with you, knowing I'd get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Ideally, I was hoping that this would trigger something within you, perhaps a remembrance, but there was no way I could tell you that you came to me in a dream and that I was your twin flame. On the fourth day of Christmas is when you made the remembrance of us being together. By this time, I offered to build a website for you because the one you had was very limited. You could have something much better if you allowed me to gift this to you. So I built you the Psychic Alley website. Why? Because I believe in you. That line came up in one of our conversations where I told you that I believed in you. And that's when it finally happened. You had the remembrance of us being there for one another, not in just this lifetime, but in previous lifetimes. I've always believed in you, Allie. I love you. On the fifth day of Christmas is where I wanted the world to know how much I love you. I felt like I wanted to scream my love for you from every rooftop. And I think I did. <laughs> I started posting Paul McCartney's My Love videos on your live chats. Also on whatever posts that you would make, I'd put that little video in there. That song expresses exactly how I feel for you when he says, only my love holds the other key to me. It's a song about twin flames. You hold the other key to me. Just like us having the same identical vibration, which is what made it so easy for you to find me in my dreams. On the sixth day of Christmas, I propose to you live on an Allie and Greg Date Night YouTube video. Up until this point, everything we had done was out in the open. So why not propose to you in front of our N5D family and make them part of this special occasion as well? I wrote some, uh, our little, um, it's almost like a poem, prose about Twin Flames. Oh, I haven't seen that. I just sent it to you. Oh, I'll look it on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, this is this is what I wrote. Hang on, I'll, I'll do a screen share. So this is my composition on twin flames. 
when you find your twin flame, it's a unique feeling of love because now you're not only loving someone else, you're loving yourself. One could never under any circumstance mistake this feeling as anything other than real love. As I reflect my love to you, you reflect your love to me. My heart is forever and endlessly tied to yours, Allison. You are my forever love. You and I are eternal. What we have is special. One love now and forever. Oh my goodness. It's making me really What I want you to do, though, is to look at that. Do you, do you have that in front of you? No. Okay. I'll put it up here. Okay. Look at the first, look at the first letter of each sentence. (laughs) Oh my God. That makes it a little bit easier to see. Will you marry me, Allison? Yes. (laughs) Hell yes. Yes, yes. And I yes. love you. <laughs> yeah. Did you know my answer is yes? Uh, I had a good idea from the minute you visited me in my dream. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I told you I wanted it to be unique and special. and Very unique. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thankfully, <laughs> you said I do. And do I love you? I do. 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 On the seventh day of Christmas, that was my first trip to England to visit you. I was so nervous. We had gotten along so well up until this point. How will it be when we're living together for 15 days? I remember hugging and kissing you as soon as we met. I made it. Uh, Look at you. Uh, uh, two, level one. No. Yeah. that lipstick. No. <laughs> so good to see you. Everything about this first kiss was magical. Sparks, energy, electricity. At this point, I knew our energies needed to be together. Fifteen days went by in the blink of an eye. We went to lots of places and saw lots of sights, but honestly, it didn't matter what I was doing as long as it was with you. Before I knew it, it was time to leave. That was hard to do after 15 days of bliss, but it showed us how compatible we are in every way imaginable. By the eighth day of Christmas, we amassed so many commonalities that it was nearly impossible to deny our twin flame relationship. At times, we even began to look alike, making the same exact faces at the same exact times. It's as if we'd known each other for many years in this lifetime. It was easy to become a best friend with you. I love everything about you. And honestly, I could sit and watch you do nothing and love every second of it. It would be the most adorable nothing ever. (laughs) The ninth day of Christmas brought my second trip to England, this time for a full month. Once again, there were so many amazing memories, but what made it special was being immersed in each other's energies. I literally feel the pull of your energy whenever we're together. And just like my last visit to England, this one went by just as fast. Before I left, I wrote a bunch of little love letters to you and hid them all all over the house. And to this day, you haven't found all of them. The 10th day of Christmas brought us our wedding. What an incredibly special and beautiful day that was. I remember watching your brother walk you into the room and down the aisle. I could feel your father's presence. Once I could clearly see you, I felt like crying tears of joy at how beautiful you looked. Your family welcomed me with open arms and made me feel like part of the family as well. And now, Greg and Ali. You shall say your vows that take you across a threshold of life. 
Your words to each other are the threads that will tie the knot of your marriage. Your marriage will then stand as an outward form of the deep union between you. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you're okay, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, you truly are the woman of my dreams. My goddess, my other half, my twin flame. I also get to be part of your amazing family who all welcomed me with open arms. I love you all. The dream is real. Despite an ocean between us, we found each other. You look so beautiful. And it's not just your outer beauty, it's your inner beauty, and everybody sees it. Such a beautiful person. It's no wonder why people all around the world love her. She's world famous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be any more proud of the person you are. Do I promise to support your hopes, and dreams, and wishes in every way imaginable? Do I promise to listen to you whenever you need someone to talk to or? Shoulder to cry upon. I do. Do I promise to take care of you in sickness and in health? I do. Do I promise not to stalk you the way you stalked me when you first found me? <laughs> I do. I do. Do I promise to? And <laughs> I do clearly. <agree. laughs> you and I are probably the only ones that put that. <laughs> too many pictures. <laughs> so I promise to make you laugh and keep you on your toes and off your feet with romance. <laughs> I do. So I promise to be your best friend forever. I do. Do I promise to let my inner child play nicely with your inner child? I do. Do I promise to stand by your side through thick and thin, holding you in the highest esteem and reverence? I do. Do I promise to love you unconditionally forever and eternally? I do. Thank you so much. I've only got mine on a scrappy bit of paper that I kept in my bosom. We're waiting. To hear your words, people can't see the back. Oh, dear. I'm sorry about my makeup. My turn. When I travelled through dimensions to stalk you, <laughs> all those years ago, our souls have been magnetically pulling each of us together ever since. We have now renewed, reunited as one in this lifetime, just as we have in previous lifetimes in the past. Thank you for remembering your dreams. You wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> Um, you felt me calling you through these dimensions. You felt, oh, you literally are the man of my dreams. 
you are my twin flame. My friend love and my best friend. Our combined energies shine, shine brighter and brighter every moment that we're together. To be loved by such a wonderful, kind, kind and handsome, intelligent, and romantic, I could go on and on and on, just makes me the luckiest lady in the world. I truly love the way that you love me. Stop. <laughs> I'm yours. Do you want my unconditioning? <laughs> Blending my lives together in eternal bliss and happiness. Good friend, I'm so ready to be my wife. To honour, cherish, and respect you from now and always in this lifetime and any other that follows. You completely. Of course, our first dance was to Paul McCartney's My Love, and all the kids that were there made it extra special. The honeymoon was fabulous. We spent two days there and never left the room. We needed it after all the running down we had done the week beforehand, and there was something extra special about that kitchenette in our room. Oh yeah, it was stocked for us. The 11th day of Christmas involves us going through medical issues on both sides of the relationship, but getting through them with tons of unconditional love. Having support when you're physically down means the world to that person. Myself, I went through hell this past year with diverticulitis, a colostomy, incidental appendectomy, a reverse colostomy, and a quadruple bypass open heart surgery. Being able to talk to you every day helped me get through all of this. You're a rock of support for me, as I hope I am that for you. I love you so much, Allie. The twelfth day of Christmas involves our present and future together in this and every other lifetime in our future. I look forward to exploring the multiverses with you, Allie, and at times playing like children. <laughs> we have so much to accomplish with one another, and I look forward to every millisecond I get to spend with you, my wife, the beautiful and sexy Allie Prescott. I'm so madly in love with you. You're on my mind all throughout the day. You're a major part of me, and I promise I will not take any of this for granted. You're my forever girl. You're the literal woman of my dreams. I love you, Allie. Merry Christmas. <laughs>